Preparing to join the forward Jorn and liquid hydrogen tank for Artemis 2, new hardware for the Artemis 3 lunar mission, and beginning of production for the Artemis 4 SLS Block 1B rocket. All that and more on today's Space Launch System Rundown. In January of 2022, engineers at NASA's Mishu Assembly Facility took a completed forward join for the Artemis II SLS rocket and moved it into position for final assembly, where it is soon to be mated with the soon to be finished liquid hydrogen tank. This join will connect four out of the five main structures of the Artemis II SLS rocket's core stage with the final component, known as the engine section, following in suit soon after. Together, the forward join and liquid hydrogen tank will reach an incredible 194 feet in length. This core stage will help to propel four astronauts to the moon for the first time since Apollo 17 in 1972. Next up in the news. Work continues on the Artemis III SLS rocket. Recently, workers at NASA's Mishu assembly facility have welded together eight panels to produce the forward skirt for the lunar rocket. When finished, the forward skirt will house all avionics for the mission to the moon, as well as serve as an attachment point for the interstage that sits on top of it. Work is also well underway at the Marshall Space Flight Center, where the launch vehicle stage adapter, as well as the Orion stage adapter for the Artemis III rocket are also being produced. The launch vehicle stage adapter is an inner stage of the SLS core stage that houses the RL-10 engines and liquid oxygen tanks of the ICPS and EUS rocket stages. The Orion stage adapter is another adapter that will connect the ICPS with the Orion spacecraft. This will be the final OSA built and will be replaced on Artemis IV by the much larger Universal Stage Adapter, or USA. Artemis III is scheduled to launch in 2025 and will be the first crewed mission to land on the moon since the Apollo era. Engineers at the Mishud Assembly Facility are also progressing steadily on the first ever flight of the SLS Block 1B rocket. The SLS Block 1B is the upgraded version of NASA's mega rocket that will be larger and more powerful than their old Saturn V of the Apollo program. In January of 2022, NASA revealed that the eight barrel panels for the engine section of the first SLS 1B rocket have been welded together. This engine section is the most complex part of the entire rocket stage and has to contain and channel the thrust of four mighty RS-25 engines as well as attached to the two monster five-segment solid rocket boosters. Speaking of SRBs, the solid rocket booster segments for the Artemis IV mission have also begun production. They are currently in casting phase at the production facility in Promontory, Utah and will be completed and joined with their counterparts for the Artemis II and Artemis III missions. Artemis IV will be the first flight of the SLS Block 1B rocket and will carry the IHAB module to help with the construction of the Lunar Gateway, NASA's newest space station in orbit around the moon, in 2026. Returning to the Artemis II crewed mission to the moon, NASA has recently made progress on the Orion spacecraft for that mission. Work on the service module for this lunar mission has been progressing steadily, and recently, workers at NASA's Kennedy Space Center have joined together the service module and the crew module adapter. The crew module adapter will be utilized to connect the Orion command module to the European service module, as well as provide the umbilicals that will bring power collected from the solar panels into the crew module for astronauts to use. This service module will be used to power the crew of Artemis II on a translunar injection sometime in late 2023 or early 2024. Next up, engineers at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center are hard at work on construction of the structural test article for the SLS Block 1B's Universal Stage Adapter, also known as the USA. The USA is a massive 27.6 foot wide adapter designed to connect the 5.5 meter Orion spacecraft to the 8.4 meter wide exploration upper stage. This adapter will serve the same purpose as the payload bay of the Space Shuttle and the SLA on the Saturn 1B and Saturn V rockets housing modules for NASA's up-and-coming Lunar Gateway space station during the launch to the moon. After the launch, the USA will be jettisoned and the Orion spacecraft will extract the module in the same way that the Apollo spacecraft would extract the lunar module from the S-4B stage of the Saturn V. This first USA is not flight rated, but rather will be used for testing purposes in order to validate the design of the adapter for missions to the moon. The first flight of the USA will be on the Artemis IV mission to the moon in 2026. And finally, it was recently announced that the second flight of the SLS Block 1B rocket for Artemis V will be carrying the E-Spirit module to the Lunar Gateway as a co-manifested payload with the Orion spacecraft. 
This launch will follow a similar trajectory and mission plan to that of Artemis IV, bringing yet another module to the moon, joining PPE, Halo, and IHAB in order to continue construction of the growing lunar space station. Artemis V is currently scheduled for launch sometime in 2027. That's all for today! Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like the content, and don't forget to ring the notification bell in order to be notified of future videos. I would also like to give a huge thank you to Olek100000 for being our first channel member. If you'd like to help support the channel and even get a shout out and see your name appear at the end of my videos, consider joining them in becoming a channel member. Thank you all for watching, this has been your Space Launch System Rundown.